What business brings you here? So you say that the Armada seeks to translate the markings upon the piece of Marco Puyo's map? To do so, they must consult the Scroll of Secrets, the only copy of which is held in the Library of Contemplation in Subata. In return for the aid you have given Mushu, I grant you free passage into Subata, so that you might pursue your foe. I suggest you speak to Lord Chagatai in Subata Temple. Tell him I sent you, and he will assist you in your quest. Not from Mushu, pirate. What do you seek in Subata? The skyways of Mushu are polluted with the ships of outsiders. Foreign intervention has brought calamity and woe to this realm. I will not help you until you prove to me that your interests and those of Mushu are one and the same. The greatest threat to Subata is the Amber Horde. Ruthless bandits, pirates, and mercenaries, led by a barbarian named Hunan. Strike out at the ships of the Amber Horde and restore order to Subata Skyway, and I will listen to your requests.
I was reluctant to set another foreign vessel loose in Subata's skyways, but you have proven your loyalty. You may now travel throughout Subata with my leave. My ships will not fire upon you, so long as they are not provoked. You have come seeking access to the Scroll of Secrets. I grant you passage to the Library of Contemplation to seek it out. Librarian Quan Shi is the master there, and you must speak to him if you wish to learn how to find what you seek. No more for you to take. Oh, you are not one of them. My apologies. I mistook you for a pirate of the Amber Horde. You want to consult the Scroll of Secrets? You are out of luck. It was here, but was taken. Your only hope is Shun Zhang the Wise. Who is Shun Zhang? Well, he's wise, obviously, and... Just ask him the rest. He's in the Temple of Eternal Serenity, atop the Great Hill. Say nothing. No secrets are hidden from Shun Zhang, the wise. I can see from your garb. You are a pirate, and you are on a quest. A quest for a missing piece of Marco Polo's map. But it was denied you, no? So now, you are here for the Scroll of Secrets. I cannot translate the markings on the pieces of the map you possess, for they are Taoist sorcery, and I am a Moodist mystic. Knowing this, you are undoubtedly lost and do not know what to do. But I will tell you because I am Shun Zhang the Wise. Listen. When the mountains were but hills and the skies were still young, there was a sage even wiser than I, Kao Tzu, father of Kaoism. Kao Tzu wrote the scroll of secrets full of ancient wisdom. When Marco Pollo came to Mushu, he studied the scroll and used it to make his map. Kao Tzu dwells upon the celestial shrine which sits upon the back of Maruzame, the great turtle that swims the skies of the higher world. The great turtle can only be summoned to this realm by throwing five turtle balls into the Eye of Harmony. No small task. 
I, Shun Zhang, once visited the Celestial Shrine. With me were four heroes. Monkey King, Pigsy, Friar Sand, and Dragon Prince. These mighty heroes helped me on my journey to the West when I discovered the teachings of the Muda and brought them back to Mushu. Each of these heroes carries one turtle ball. The last was entrusted to me. When our great quest was done, the celestial ministers sent the heroes to watch the four temples of the winds. They are still guarding them. Well, all but Monkey King, who got in some trouble and forced the ministers to drop a mountain on him. If you can get those four turtle balls back, I will help you find the fifth. Last I heard, Monkey King was trapped in a cavern under Sacred Mountain, only accessible through the Temple of the South Wind. He should be so relieved to have someone to talk to that he will surrender his turtle ball without any fuss. Do not free him unless you must. I mean it. Before you go, let me give you this sealed scroll. Read it only if you set the Monkey King free, and only after, no sooner.
come to set me free? Excellent. I've learned my lesson and I'm sorry for what I did. And I'm quite bored now. You want to leave me here, trapped in a cage, while you run away with my precious turtle ball? How inconsiderate! Let's make a deal. I'll happily surrender my turtle ball if you get me out of this cage. How does that sound? The cage key is in the keeping of Hattori Hanzo, the renowned swordsmith. His forge is on the slopes of the sacred mountain. Do not face him in open combat. Hamzo's blades are without equal. If death should face a Hamzo blade, death himself will be cut. Your best bet is to take him unawares. Sneak into his shop, come up behind him, and bam! Knock him out cold. Attack a national treasure? A wonder of Mushu? Never! Well, aren't you squeamish? All right, how about this? Go out in the skyway and gather up some moon pollen. Come back to Hamzo's and offer to have tea with him. Put the pollen in his tea. Hamzo takes a nap, you take the key, everybody wins!
about this plan, and I wouldn't trust Monkey King further than I could throw him. I do not think I will take my tea just yet. There is something sour about the tea that might disagree with me. Oh, did you think I would not see through your little scheme? Did you think that you are the first the Monkey King has sent? There is no key to the Monkey King's cage. I built a lock with no key to taunt him. It seems to have worked quite well. Tell the Monkey King that there will be no clever escape this time. He must serve his full sentence. Ten thousand years. What? There is no key? This is an outrage. If there's no way to open the lock, then I must bash the bars apart. If only I had my golden staff, that would do it. My golden staff was taken from me by the Dragon King long ago when they put me in here. He can't still be mad, can he? If you can fetch me back my golden staff and help me get out of this cage, I'll get you your turtle ball and help you out. The Dragon King's realm is at the bottom of the Lake of the Rising Sun. Just jump in and swim. You'll find it. Tell him you want the challenge.
The tablets are in the hands of a river devil named Hessian. He will not relinquish such power willingly. Best of luck. These be no natural waters, my captain. You'll be safe to breathe beneath them, I think. Be careful all the same. <laughs> 